It's transferable. Amen to God. It's tangible. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe in using, amen to God, handkerchiefs, praying over them, anointing them. Praise God. According to what the Word of God says, I believe that. Amen. Praise God. I believe, amen to God, He gave Eutychus back. Praise God. He gave him Jesus. Yeah. That's what He gave him. That's what brought life back into Eutychus' body. Amen. Hallelujah. But it means fortunate one. <clears throat> Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we're fortunate today because of Jesus. We're all fortunate ones because of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So Luke here, talking here in this passage of Scripture, gives you some reasons maybe why he fell asleep. One, the lateness of the hour. That would make anybody get drowsy and tired. Amen. Maybe he had a long day of work. Amen? Yeah. Number two, back in those days when they had lamps in the rooms, the heat from those lamps would make you tired. How many has ever been when it's cold and you got the heater on, a kerosene heater or whatever, and you're warm, you get in a blanket, you get tired and sleepy and drowsy. Amen. 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 Had a cup of hot chocolate with some marshmallows. Come on. Glory. Hallelujah. Maybe a graham cracker in there with some peanut butter on it. <laughs> Amen. Had to throw that in. But that, that heat and that warmth got you drowsy. It could have been that was the reason. Amen. And he sat on that window seat. There might have been a cool breeze coming in. I don't know about y'all, but I've, have you ever laid down a cool breeze hit you? You just want to go out, go to sleep. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. That could have been a reason. Or another reason could have been because Paul was long-winded. Amen. Amen to God. I'm glad Paul had this problem too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. They call, I had a couple of brother Bill Skipper told me, he said, you long-winded, but we like it. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just preach what the Lord gives me. Amen to God. I told him if I don't break up a sweat, at least on my back, something wrong. Amen. I don't oh. know. you get that in a minute. But this picture of Eutychus right here, though, is a classic example. We can look at it in the spiritual as a us, praise God, dozing off and wandering away from God, not being on fire for God. Amen. I even read in one point of history, it said that Eutychus was on fire at one point for the Lord. We don't read a whole lot more about Eutychus in the Word of God. But whatever the reason was, he got drowsy and he fell off. That's what's happening to the church today. We're dozing off. In the Spirit. Yeah. Praise God. What once turned us on for Jesus doesn't turn us on anymore. Amen. Our heart is not burning like it used to do for the King of Kings. Amen to God. But we're just all settled down. We figure we got our ticket to heaven. We don't need to do nothing else. Hey, running this race, amen to God, the devil is going to bring everything against you, hell and high water, amen. and everything to take you out. Come on. But when the devil's got a plan to take you out, Brother Bill, the Lord Jesus has got a plan in motion to keep you in. Amen. Woo! That ought to get you excited right Praise there. Praise the Lord. Amen to God. Go with me now to Revelation chapter 2. You say you're going to Revelation, yeah. I'm going to do a couple <clears throat> scriptures there. I'm going to talk about the church of Ephesus. We're familiar with that. Revelation chapter 2, beginning in verse 2. And the Bible says, I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars. And hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake hath labored, and hast not fainted. But listen to verse 4 now. Here comes the rebuke now from the Lord. Nevertheless... I have somewhat against thee. Because what? What's it say? <clears throat> Thou hast left thy first love. Glory to God. Come on. I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. <coughs> Do you remember when you first got saved? How on fire you was for Jesus? You could go to hell with the water pistol and put the flames out. Come on. You was that on fire for Jesus. 
And then as time got on and you got educated. I'm not talking spiritually educated. I'm talking about naturally educated. Then you started getting conservative. Yeah. And it all started being about Come on. not offending nobody. Come on. I remember, praise God, 17 years old, when I got saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, I'd go out every day. I even got in trouble by the law for going to putting tracks in mailboxes, which yeah. you're not supposed to do. Amen. I learned that. The Lord knew my heart, though. And I went out and solicited Walmart and Kmart in the mall parking lot with flyers, Come saying on. if you don't get saved, you're going to hell. And I'd catch people going in. I grabbed one guy one time. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Praise God. But I was so zealous for the Lord. Yeah. That I wanted to everybody to have what I had, Brother Billy. Yeah. I wanted them to know the peace that I had. I wanted them to know the joy I had. Praise God. Amen. But the Lord had to do some straightening up on me. Amen. Put me on the potter's wheel. But the feeling, praise God, never should have left your, your desire, your passion for Him. We have come so far today with technology. We've got so many different avenues to get the gospel out. Now is not the time to get spiritually drowsy and fall out a window. Amen. Amen. Praise God, because there may not be a brother or sister around full of the Holy Ghost to lay there to pick you up and revive you. Amen. Hallelujah. Not a lot of our churches anyway. <clears throat> Glory to God. But this church of Ephesus is a picture of the church today. They're godly on the outside, but empty on the inside. Come on. They're, they're whitewashed scepters full of dead men's bones. Good on the outside. The appearance looks good. The hair is combed. Teeth are brushed. Maybe the teeth are soaked in effort in overnight. Amen. Nails are clipped. You're wearing the over it. You got your dress on down to your feet. Come you on. got the bun up high. The man's got the long sleeves down where no skin's showing. I believe in dressing properly, praise God, but I don't believe in getting caught up in the legalistic part of it to where Amen. that's what you make your salvation on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We've got to get God back in our hearts and in our lives on the inside and He'll make the change on the outside. I'm so tired, Sister Nancy, of people, praise God, when somebody comes in that's a lost amen to God and they don't look and smell right, Praise God. We judge them on the outside. Hallelujah. Jesus don't judge on the outside. It's the heart that God looks at. Amen to God. You ought to say amen for that because we've all been in trouble. Come on. Amen. Because we ain't all no beauty queens in here. Glory to God. Amen. I ain't no beauty queen. Amen. Praise God. I wish I could be as beautiful as Brother Billy. Amen to God. Now. Hallelujah. Trying. Get down to 132 pounds like Brother oh, Billy. My goodness. Hallelujah. And you ought to say amen for the Lord for, for the weight he's lost. Amen to God. He looks good. Praise God. We're proud of him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Preachers can lose weight. Amen to God. Amen. I'm telling you all out there by YouTube. Hallelujah. Preachers, you don't have to eat two KFC buckets of chicken. Praise God. To be spiritual. Come on. Glory to God. There is a sin of gluttony. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm proud of Brother Billy. I love him. Amen to God. He's an inspiration to me. Glory. Hallelujah. You know that, brother. Brother Bob is too. Amen. <laughs> brother Bill. Hallelujah. But Eutychus' heart here too shows another thing. That he must not really been in love with the Word of God truly like he used to. Because if he was, he would have stayed awake to hear what Paul was saying. Hallelujah. Now, back in verse 7 now, where it talks about Paul continuing his speech until midnight... If you notice here, the writer of the book of Acts, Luke, he didn't mention if anybody else fell asleep. Yeah. He just said Eutychus. Because I'm sure maybe Eutychus had backslidden some, or maybe just didn't have that, have his heart where it should have been. Or it should have been focused on the Word of God. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah. The heart, amen to God, needs to be straightened out. 
It all begins in here. That's where Jesus changes you at is in the heart. Amen. You say, Brother Mike, I'm saved. Yes, but praise God, He's still changing us. There's still a sin nature we've got to get dealt with. And the only way to deal with it is through Christ and what He did at the cross. Amen, Amen. to God. Don't tell me the cross is outdated because the cross is what we need to preach. Come on. We don't need another prosperity message. No. We don't need another feel-good message. Amen. We certainly don't need another Dr. Schuler to write a book on how good you can be if you have positive thinking. Oh. He's got his predecessor, Joel Osteen, in behind him, amen to God, and his wife, Vicki. Come on. Amen to God. We don't need no more self-help, Dr. Feelgood stuff. We need a good old-fashioned dose of the Holy Ghost from the 1611 King James Bible. Amen Come to God. On. The Word of God, the true Word of God that will set you free. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. I know Brother Billy's with me. I wish y'all would help me in here Come preach on, tonight. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Wake up. Preach. Or you're going to fall out of the window. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Spiritual drowsiness should be transformed into watchfulness and perseverance. Yeah. And the only way to do that is get the Word of God in our life. Y'all remember the message I preached many months ago on the Word of God out of Psalm 119? Where it said, Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Hallelujah. Remember I had Tyler cut the lights off? Amen. And I had the flashlight? And that's the Word of God when you put it in your life. Praise God. Because in the darkness of the world, praise God, yeah. when hell's coming against you, Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Praise God. When the Amen. lights go out, you get the Word of God that's a light in a world of darkness. Amen to God. Hallelujah to God. It's a light in a world of darkness. Praise God. And it will give you direction and it will not steer you off course. Amen. The greatest map ever. Woo! Go over to God. Greatest map ever been made was the Word of God. Come on. Hallelujah. That will steer you from Glory. hell and lead you to heaven. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen to God. Because it puts you towards the cross. Amen to God. Which were the Glory to God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Point you to Jesus. Amen Come to on. God. Where you get your soul saved. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amen to God. Amen. I'm telling you, but churches today ain't preaching that. Come on. Hallelujah. I was told, amen to God. I got an email from a radio station I'm on. You know, Brother Billy. Yeah, come on. I'm being just a little bit too forward on calling names out. Yeah. Take me off there, then that's fine. Yeah. Hallelujah. Take me off. Come on. Go over to God. Well, we can keep you on if you give us more money. Take me off. Hallelujah. Come on. It's all about money for some folk. Oh, yeah. Amen. For me, it's about the Word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Go over to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You tell the devil that I've got the word that's a lamp unto my tell him now. Amen to God. Uh -huh. It's a lamp unto my feet, yeah. devil, yeah. and a light unto oh, my yeah. path. Yeah. Go over to God. Amen to God. Yeah. Woo! Amen. Even in the midnight hour, amen. Come on. Because I know weeping may endure for a night. But Hallelujah. joy is coming in the morning. Glory to Amen. God. Hallelujah. You may be spiritually drowsy right now, but the hallelujah to God, you're going to get a revival in your soul. Oh, Amen. It's going to wake you up. Hallelujah. You're going to rise and shine and let the light of Jesus flow through you. Amen to God. Hallelujah. We don't need to wait till we get revival on the side. Amen to God. We don't need to wait to get a special preacher. We don't need to wait again. Amen to God to get special singers in here. Praise God. We can have a pure dose. Amen to God of Holy Ghost revival every time we assemble ourselves together. The Bible says when they come together in one accord in the book of Acts, the Holy Ghost fell. Praise God. And we see great and mighty things happen. People were saved. People were healed and delivered and set free. What's wrong today? We, we need to wake up before we fall out a window. Come on now. Hallelujah to God. We've become spiritually drowsy and we need to say, Jesus, praise God because what Jesus gives you won't make you drowsy. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. What the world gives you makes you drowsy. Amen. When you take those pharmaceutical drugs, it gives you a, amen to God, a drowsy feeling. You feel all kind of just woozy and everything. Amen. But when you get drunk in the Holy Ghost, Sister Nancy, praise God, you won't have that after effect in the morning. Amen. Come on, amen. Woo! Amen. Go over to God. Is this all right? Y'all right. want me to shut up? No, or can on, I preach like that. Paul? Pray amen to God. That. Hallelujah. Let me get a drink of water. Amen. Hallelujah. See, midnight... See, he preached until midnight. Paul did. Yeah. And that's when Eutychus fell out the window. Midnight can be a dangerous hour. 
If you remember back, it was midnight when the death angel passed through Egypt. Amen. And smoked the firstborn. Because when it did not.